Hi again, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Lawyer. I'm Rob Rosenthal with AskTheLawyers.com. Do you know what to do if you're injured on the job? Do you understand what workers' comp is and how it all works? Well, luckily, that's what we're going to ask the lawyer today. And here to answer our questions is attorney Brian McKenzie of McKinsey Law in Denver. Brian, thank you for making some time for us today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So let's just start off with some basic definitions. What is, what's the difference between a workers' comp claim and a, a third-party negligence claim? How do those work? Well, a workers' compensation claim is something that an employer can, an employee can pursue if they are injured on the job. Uh, they are entitled to wage loss and disability benefits. There is what's called an exclusive remedy under workers' compensation in that you can't necessarily sue the employer directly. However, you may pursue a claim even if you are at fault in the injury-causing event. Uh, it is important that you notify the employer immediately of the injury, uh, and you may be entitled to such benefits as medical and wages. Uh, in terms of a third-party claim, those are claims that can exist beyond the workers' compensation claim. Uh, third-party claims are for automobile accidents, products liability, and those sorts of things. And those are um, situations where people can pursue damages for things such as pain and suffering, disability, and those other things. If someone is injured on the job, Brian, what are the steps they should take? You said notify their employer. What are the other steps they should take? Well, if the injury is life-threatening or limb-threatening, it's, it's key that they seek emergency medical care right away. If it's not, then it's important that they notify the supervisor or someone at the place of employment to inform that, them that an injury has occurred on the job. Uh, in the initial phases of the workers' compensation claim, it is important that the employee cooperate with the employer uh, as much as possible. I also highly recommend that you document what's happened in the claim as much as possible, whether that's by email, photographs, statements, or otherwise, and that way there's no confusion somewhere down the road regarding what happened in the injury-causing event. How do I determine if what happened to me is a, is a workers' comp claim and or a third-party claim? How do I, how do I decide as, a, as I'm Joe Worker? A good example of that would be if you're involved in an automobile accident while working in the course, of in, course and scope of your employment mm -hmm. and the accident is not your fault. You would certainly have a workers' compensation claim uh, through your employer because you suffered injuries while on the job, but then you could also pursue uh, claims, a third-party claim against the at-fault driver for injury sustained in the crash. And those allow you to seek additional benefits, such as pain and suffering, uh, which you are not entitled to recover in a workers' compensation claim. Well, you kind of answered my next question. So it is possible that you could have a situation where you would file both claims. That's correct. And, and some of those situations involves uh, products liability, um, intentional conduct by the employer, um, a situation where an employer fails to carry workers' compensation insurance, or as we just discussed, the injury was caused by the negligence of a third party that does not work for the employer. At what point do I need to get an attorney involved? Do, is it, if, if it's a workman's comp claim, do I need to have an attorney involved from the beginning? You, what is your you're recommendation? You're required to have an attorney. However, I do recommend you contact an attorney you know, as soon as possible to discuss your potential rights. There are several pitfalls that can occur in these claims. There are a lot of legal questions that can become quite complicated. And, uh, you know, as statistically, people do better when they hire attorneys than when they don't. So I highly recommend that you, um, that you seek legal counsel as soon as possible. And there are a lot of times where if you feel like the employer isn't doing what they should be doing, they're not paying your wage loss benefits, they're not paying your medical benefits, or there are just, you can tell that there are things that aren't going the way they should, I think you should, I highly recommend that you contact an attorney right away. What if my workman, workman's comp uh, 
uh, claim has been denied. Is there is there an appeals process, and is that sometime I should have an attorney involved as well? Yeah, absolutely. If if your work, workers' compensation claim is denied, I highly recommend that you contact an attorney right away. There is an appeals process. You can file an application or hearing on those issues, um, and this happens quite often. So if your if your claim is denied, I wouldn't just give up and go away. I would highly recommend you seek legal counsel and uh, pursue the claim under the law. And if I'm not sure if I have a third party claim, um, maybe I think I might, uh, it seems like that would also be a good time to get an attorney involved very early in the process to find out. Ab absolutely, because there are various facts and circumstances that can affect whether it's solely a workers' compensation claim or could also involve a third party personal injury claim. Brian, thank you for this information. It's been uh, very helpful. I appreciate your time today. Okay, thank you very much, Rob. That's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been attorney Brian McKenzie of McKenzie Law in Denver, Colorado. If you want the very best information about workers' comp law or you're ready to choose a lawyer that lawyers choose, please make sure to visit askthelawyers.com. Also, take a second, click on the button at the bottom of the screen so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. I'm Rob Rosenthal with askthelawyers.com.